been given sine alpha and cos alpha to be the roots of a quadratic equation. They want you to find the square of b, which is the middle term or the middle coefficient. So what do you do is you take the sum of roots, sine alpha plus cos alpha. The sum of roots is always equal to the negative coefficient of x upon the coefficient of x squared. Now, because they want you to find the value of b squared, it's very quick that we can square this equation both sides. If I'll do that, I'll get the first term as the square of sine alpha, which is sine square alpha, plus 2 sine alpha cos alpha, and then cos square alpha. Upon squaring the other side, I get b squared upon a squared. Now, note that sine square alpha plus cos square alpha, you can reduce that to 1, because I think you know that it comes from the identity. So we just got 1 plus 2 sine alpha cos alpha. Now, how to find the value of sine alpha cos alpha? Just like we found out the sum of roots using the middle coefficient or the coefficient of x upon coefficient of x squared, the product of roots, now this is nothing but product of roots, product of roots can, can be found out by taking the ratio of the constant upon the first term. So the constant here is c, so the value of the product of roots here would be just c upon a. So I'll just plug in that value, 1 plus 2 times c upon a has to give me b squared upon a squared because I have a common denominator a or the higher denominator is a squared. I'm going to multiply the whole equation by that denominator. If I'll times that, then my value, my equation becomes a squared plus 2ac equals to b squared. So this is what the answer is, a squared plus 2ac. That's it.